Hi guys, we're back again and we're going into Kitten Nook this time. So this is our Kitten Nook room. This is where all the guys who are usually under six months are until they are either big enough to move into the free roaming kitten room or move into Meowville. And this, cage, this room has eight cages in it. Sometimes it's completely filled up. Other times, like today, we do have a couple of empty cages. Well, one empty cage. And all the kittens in this room, I believe all of them now, are spayed. At least all the girls are. Some of the males are neutered. And they're all up to date on their age-appropriate vaccines. If they're under four months, we can't give them a rabies vaccine, but they do have everything else. You guys can see they have their nice squishy little beds and their blankets and lots and lots of food. So they're fed in here twice a day with wet food. They get dry food and water all day long. And they're a little tuckered out because when we're cleaning the room, they get to run around for the morning while we're cleaning out their cages and their litter boxes because that's something that's done every day here. We have a amazing, very hardworking staff that comes in early in the morning and many of them leave very late at night to make sure that all of our guys here are taken care of very well, which you can see they are. <laughs> you can see Sugar Plum enjoying one of the very nice beds that someone was that someone brought in for us to enjoy here. <laughs> and then we have two cages that are a little bit bigger so we can house siblings together or sometimes just cage mates. Um, actually the three girls in that cage came in from a foster home. They were being fostered by one of our employees for a couple of months because they were a little too young to, when they first came in to be put up for adoption. So that's a, another thing we do here. We have staff members and some volunteers do, do foster work which is amazing. It definitely helps us out when we're overcrowded in the summer months, even into now, because the kitten season has not stopped since the summer, which it usually does. But we're very thankful for our staff and our volunteers, everybody who goes above and beyond to make sure that the cats, dogs, kittens, rabbits, birds, everything that comes in here is taken care of to the best that we possibly can. And I think now we're gonna head over to Kitten Nursery. So we'll see you guys over there. Hi guys, we're back again, and this is our final room on the virtual tour. This is Kitten Nursery. Come on in. Now, normally what we do with this room is either we have, when we have moms that are pregnant or have litters, they come in here because it's a smaller room, a little more secluded, not right by the dog rooms like the other rooms are. So it's a little quieter and more peaceful. When we don't have moms with babies, we'll use it as an addition to Kitten Nook. Or, when we don't have as many kittens as we do adult cats, like we do right now, we use it as a room off of Meowville. So that's what we have in here. Um, we only have the three cages filled, so that's good. We don't, the room isn't bursting with capacity. And the uh, two guys you're looking at now are Eclipse and Tippy. They're both probably about eight months to ten months now. They've been with us for a little bit. So they're teenagers going into young adulthood. And then we have Maggie underneath them. She's actually a mother of some of the kittens that you guys saw in the other room. And she's probably about a year old, so she's a young adult. A little skittish, but she does come around pretty quickly. <laughs> and then the last cage we have in here is with Lafayette and Elizabeth. Their mom is actually in our free roaming room now. So I don't think they were born here, but they came in very, very young, at least. And they're about six to seven months now. So they're at that teenager age. But they're both very sweet, super, super playful, running around, you know, just being babies pretty much is their favorite thing to do. And that's pretty much it with this room. Not a whole lot for you guys to see here, um, especially since we don't have all the cages filled. And I guess that pretty much concludes our shelter virtual tour. Thanks again to all the wonderful people who donate and give us the blankets, the towels, the sheets, scratching posts, litter boxes, food, everything, toys. We could not do what we do without you guys to back us up and help us out. So thank you so much. And we'll have lots more videos of shelter shenanigans and cool information for you coming up in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, guys. Bye.